Hi, Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Hit subscribe and hit like. Today's video is about why relationships often fail. I have been doing some YouTubing, YouTubing, watching videos about relationships. And I'm doing this because I've always been intrigued by this topic because I've been in several relationships. And honestly, regardless of the age, race, whatever, this is a hot topic for us all because we all, most of us, are relational and we want to be loved. And from digging around on YouTube, I do see that men and women are quite different, yet very alike. So some of the negative things I've heard about us from some men, they think some women are gold diggers, poorish users, um, self-centered, <laughs> untrustworthy, and some of the women are saying men are dogs, lazy, so dogs is cheating, um, what else did I see, untrustworthy again, narcissistic, both sides narcissistic, but those are the negative traits. It's easy to bash each other, but what I am learning is a lot of our past relationships, that's how we feel about new things or current things. And that's not really fair. I wouldn't want to judge my last guy based on my ex-husband. They were two different people. And it's not fair to put a label on two different people. Even if you go through a breakup, if you speak to someone about it, they will start projecting what happened to them onto your breakup. And it could be like night and day. Not everyone, but I see this with, uh, I don't want to say the unhealthy people, but the less aware people. That's a nice way of putting it. People that are self-aware, I've noticed, they don't talk much if you say you've broken up with someone. They kind of go quiet, hear you out, and they're very, hmm, what is the word, uh, neutral. They won't take your side or his side. They'll kind of listen. And that's pretty cool if you ask me. I'm sort of like that. I've had several people come to me with breakup problems. And I'm a fool, you all. Fool. I'm a type of dreamer. I'm a Virgo. The dreamer. I think life is um, wonderful. We're going to run into the lilies and the daisies together and sail into the sunset. I'm just a fool in love. That's, that's how I've been most of my life. I need to wake up, don't I? But I, I always believe in people until they're toxic. If they're toxic, I don't even... I can't even. But if they have some issues, like I have, you have, we have, I always feel like there's hope. And I always feel like that. And I say that because I've seen couples break up, get divorced, and get remarried. And they're still married to this day and they're happy. Again, sometimes breakups are not the end of the world. It could be a time of self-inventory self-discovery. So um, the reason why a lot of relationships don't work is because of fear. We have fear that we're going to get hurt. And I swear, it does not feel good to get your feelings hurt. I hate it. It's like one of the worst feelings you can have besides losing someone to death. <laughs> it's having your heart broken. It just feels like you're never going to get better. So that fear from losing someone, we project that on a new person or a new relationship. But what we have to learn to do is to judge each, each person as an individual. Don't lump all your bad experiences together. Sometimes we have to go into it childlike and expect the best. Remember being a kid and going to Great America? You just knew you were going to have a great time. Before Great America, the day before, you couldn't even sleep. Before Christmas, you couldn't even sleep. 
And sometimes we have to be like that about people and relationships. Get excited and expect the best. And then when you do the self-discovery, you'll know when someone is not a good match or when something shady. This is something I do in every area of my life. I go with my gut. If I'm walking down the street, I live outside of Chicago, by the way, but I still go to Chicago. <laughs> and I'm not picking on Chicago because that's my home, always will be. But I'm just saying when you're out in certain areas, you got to be self-aware. And one thing I do in life, all encompassing, is I'm always trusting my gut. If I'm walking somewhere and it feels like stranger danger, I'm getting the heck out of there. If I have to make a decision about a job, I go in an interview and I'm not vibing with that manager or that environment feels stressful and just bad, I do not take the job. I do not. If I'm meeting someone, you know, when I used to date a little bit more frequently, if I get a bad vibe, I'm out. Even with friends, lady friends, I'm not putting up with no negativity. Not saying anybody's perfect, but your gut will steer you correctly. And if it don't feel right, it ain't right. Get the heck out of there. So my video was basically to say, after all this rambling, be open. Don't think every guy is going to dog you out. All women are gold diggers. I mean, it's not cool to put people in these boxes. Me, personally, I'm in my later 40s. I have quite a few friends. And I have some very, very pretty friends. Smart, funny, very talented, outgoing. And they do not have a man. These are beautiful women. Own places, self-sufficient, educated. They do not have anyone. And they're not down or over it, but some would like a beautiful, nice male companion. And I know they're out there. I know men that are decent looking men, hardworking guys. They're single and they're looking for women. So it's almost like we have to try to come together and stop letting our pain and fear of the past determine our future. There's great people out here. But I think it starts with believing that. And I'll never forget someone told me years ago, a lady, pretty lady, with issues, like, like I said, all of us. But she said some powerful words, and I think she might have messed herself up. She said, I'm never getting married. She wanted to get married, but the guy she wanted to marry never asked to marry her. And she said, I'm never getting married. And to this day, she's not married. So power of the tongue. Change the way you think. I am going to meet someone great. I have already met someone great. I am in a healthy relationship. I am love. I love myself. Therefore, love comes to me effortlessly. These are the things that can get it in motion and get you to a very healthy and harmonious relationship. So hopefully something I said in my video helps. I want you to be positive and open and don't box in the type of guy you think you want or the type of lady. Be open. You'll be surprised what could happen. Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Hit subscribe and hit like and I'll have information inside of the video about therapy sessions or life coaching sessions via phone or Skype. Thank you so much and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.